thinking of a special engagement with flowers or do you need an event florist for your wedding day? Well, our next guest will bring your floral vision to life with local and international blooms. And Christy <laughs> Brashears, owner of KB Flowers, is here to show us the pros and cons of DIY flowers. Good yes. afternoon. These Good are afternoon. absolutely gorgeous. Thank you so and much. A little mm -hmm. put in, <laughs> Look at that. which matches your blouse perfectly. I Karen. know! It's like we planned it. The color yeah, okay. of the year. Mm -hmm. Pros and cons of doing flowers yourself for your wedding. Sure. So, of course, if you hire a professional florist, you're going to have somebody that has one cohesive style throughout your whole wedding. Um, you have somebody that has all the space for all of those florals, has the transportation for them, mm -hmm. has the experience and the knowledge to build all the, whether it's a centerpiece, a boutonniere, your bouquet, or the extravagant centerpieces, or the arch arrangements, the suspended installations that we're seeing a lot of now. Because you said, you've actually seen firsthand, where you have done a lot of the arrangements, Fiona has done the bouquet, and I've done the boutonniere, and it stands out like they, you can tell. Sure, everybody has match. their own okay. style. Mm -hmm. And whether we all have our same flowers in front of us, um, everybody has their own style to what looks great at that time. Yes. So if one person is doing it, it all has that same mm -hmm. cohesive exactly. look. Not okay. too many hands in the flower glass, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. You're I welcome. like that, yeah. Okay. Point, point that phrase. You're welcome. Okay. Right. And, then, and also you said that you know all of the the suppliers and everything like that and you work with them so yes. if you're going to get a shipment on Thursday at 4 it's going to be there. At that Absolutely time, right? and that's of course the world that we live in nowadays it's either you're having to deal with in the inflation or delivery problems yeah. your professionals have other vendors or other connections to go through and make it as seamless as possible and we are the professionals will be the ones stressing about it and making it all happen for your wedding day versus you and most of the time it's not even anything that you would ever even know about. Okay. If you are going to do do it yourself, mm -hmm. what kind of a theme, I guess, should you stick with or should you complement the the wedding dress mm -hmm. and the colors, uh, accent or how? Sure, so everybody will have their own style. Once they start solidifying their venue, they kind of pick a venue that fits their style, whether it's a modern or rustic. Um, with that, I would just I flip it on to the front mm -hmm. first, and then I wrap it twice, and then just do a ah. nice tie. And you also said that, I mean, florists are going to take time to kind of clean up each bud, Yes, right? absolutely. Each. We go through every single um, rose. We take off the bad roses. We open them up. Whoops, obviously not this one. Mm -hmm. um, we will reflect all the... Um, the petals to make them as big as possible. Your florals, instead of being like a traditional flower shop where they send you the roses as nice tight buds, they open up in our shop to get as big as possible. Okay. So your bouquet and all your florals have the biggest blooms possible. And then you also know of the new little nifty things mm -hmm. such as the boutonniere. Nothing is harder in the world than to stick a pin through all of those stems and then pin it onto the lapel of a jacket. But this is nice and easy nowadays. Yes. Um, a magnet is a great choice. That way you make sure your boutonniere is on straight. Yes. It and doesn't it flop is, over. Yeah. And you don't ruin your outfit, like especially yes. with, with the ladies. I mean, sometimes you have something sheer or yes. fine silk on, and you don't want to ruin it. And oh. a new trend in bouquets, too. Yes. That is a wearable bouquet. Um, that way, if a lot of times... No, Hold on. Sorry. There we go. There oh. we go. Oh, That's we okay. We lost That's a piece okay. of it. Okay, we manhandled it. All right, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> okay. Wedding parties that. are dwindling down, and mm -hmm. a lot of times there's not seven or eight bridesmaids anymore, and so sometimes they want to hold their bouquet the whole entire time, and this gives them that option to not have to pass it off to somebody. Okay, and you've got some specials and some deals going on right now too, right? Yes, so we have a retainer um, that secures your date while everybody is um, dealing with all the final details, the uh, amounts of tables, the bridesmaids, and so we have a hundred dollar off our retainer special right okay. now for the rest of the month. All right, all right, for more information on KB Flowers, great advice by the way, uh, head over to SALive.com and yep, click on the yep. As Seen on SA Live tab. We provided a link or simply just click on that QR code right there at the bottom of your screen. Celebrate San Antonio with us on YouTube. Yeah, all of your favorite DIY videos, food, drinks, tips, and tricks. If you've seen it here, it's on the SA Live YouTube channel. Just search KSAT SA Live on YouTube and like, subscribe, and ring the bell.